I'm Lindsay. Welcome to my crazy house. I'm a beekeeper, a weightlifter, a Star Wars obsessive, and I'm also a trustee. And I want you to know that you can be one too. Now, when I was first asked to be a trustee, I just like, what me? <laughs> what are you asking me for? You always think of like big business people and accountants and judges and all of those sorts of people around those kind of tables. I think there's a real misperception about the sort of person that can do this role. If you're passionate enough about a cause and you want to help and you want what's best for your charity, that's literally all you need. They'll train you on everything else. Charities can't exist without trustees. They're absolutely essential. And I, I see them as like the, the guardians of the, the charity. So they're there to make sure that um, the charity is running properly, that everything's within the interests of the public, that they're doing things the best that they can and that the, the money's being used properly. I mean, the Charity Commission have really clear guidance about what a trustee should do, but the reality is that you just help wherever you can. The boards absolutely have to represent the communities they serve, otherwise they're gonna miss things and there's gonna be unintended consequences of uh, decisions that they'll make. I had a, a period of, of living on people's bedroom floors, I had a period in emergency accommodation. There was a landlord who didn't want me to pay money in rent, so I ended up fighting him off and fled the situation and uh, because I'd made myself intentionally homeless, I uh, ended up sleeping on the streets for a while. I remember one day just really kicking off with my key worker about the injustice of, of homelessness and uh, that somebody should do something for women in my situation. He told me that I was somebody. I set up a, a volunteer women's group and that was that was pretty much the, the start of my career. I found myself one time in a really swanky dinner sat next to rugby players and a dame and she um, commented that she liked my uh, Star Wars tattoo and when she was looking at first I thought oh no I've, I've dressed wrongly um, but it turned out that she knows George Lucas's wife and she wanted to take a picture of it <laughs> to send to her. <laughs> so yeah that's probably my coolest trustee story. <laughs> I challenge you to get involved and to become a trustee. Charities can't exist without trustees. There's a shortage of trustees at the moment, so if you can get involved with a cause that you care about, it's really important that you take the opportunity. I think um, anybody can be a... Whose idea was it to film here?